It is finally time for our first Table Lego City update. In the last TikTok I posted, we were talking a lot about transportation in my city. I definitely want a train in the city, but I didn't know exactly how I wanted it to go. We were talking about whether we wanted to have road and track here and have it be just kind of a back and forth train or if we wanted the train to do a loop. And I think with putting all this track out and seeing kind of what it would look like and doing different designs, I think I want the train to go all the way around. So not only did I buy track for the city, but I bought our train for the city. The express passenger train is gonna be our first train and I'm really excited about it. The next big question is what we want our train tracks through the city to look like. This is what the BrickLink design looks like that I'm taking inspiration from. BrickLink. Shout out to the designer because I really just like how clean this looks, especially with having the track all the way up against the side there, having it all tiled off with that dark bluish gray tile. And then having this wall with the bike lane is just really nice. And so I think I'm gonna be integrating that into my full city, at least this half of it. And then I'll have it in my city for when I have the roads as well. With that being said though, having something that is really tiled off, a lot of pieces are gonna be going into this. And with how I'm currently gonna have the loop, it's gonna go all the way around here and it's gonna be seen most of the way. So overall, I'm gonna to have to make 21 different base plates with track on them. Six of them will go behind here, so it won't really be seen. And so I don't feel like I need to go super hard on those, but I definitely want it to look really nice going throughout the rest of my city. When it comes to big projects like this and things that I wanna do that are gonna take a lot of pieces, kind of like my mini roads that I did on my shelves, I do, I have a system of kind of like, what I do first. I first find the design so I know exactly what pieces I need. And then I do my calculations like we talked about to figure out how many of those things I need to build. And then I go in and I create a list of all the parts that I need. Once I know all of that, I go through and I have a system of like a hierarchy of what I do to find those pieces. My first step is gonna be to look at my own inventory and see what I have in all of my PAB cups that I've collected over the past and see just what I have to where I don't have to buy. Once I've figured all of that out, I'm gonna go through and see exactly what pieces of the color matters. This is gonna be huge when it comes to finding bricks that might not be light bluish gray that are more sought after, but being able to use like the pab wall and get all of these pink two by twos that aren't gonna be seen. And so you widen your ability to find different pieces like that, especially in your own inventory and on the pab wall. So today I'm gonna to be spending most of my day going through my own inventory, seeing exactly what I have, and I'm gonna to go to the Lego store and see what they have on their pad wall. They had a lot of pieces I think I'm gonna need that are different colors. So I think I'm gonna to try to go pick up some of those. But after that, I'm then gonna look on lego.com because it is two times points this weekend to see about how much the rest of it I need will be. As you can see, all of my pad cups are still so unorganized, so it doesn't make this any easier. I do have a ton of this two by two dark tan tile that I was gonna be using for like my sidewalks, but I'm not gonna need a ton for my sidewalk. So maybe we tile it with this instead of the dark bluish gray because we have so much of it. I think that's all I'm seeing as of right now that's gonna really help us out. I think a lot of this is just other random stuff that I thought would be helpful that I found, which it might be helpful for other projects, but it's just not gonna be helpful for currently what we're, what we're looking to do. As you can see, my desk is also an absolute wreck. Um, and so, yeah, we, we definitely need to do a little bit of organizing today. Um, I think I do have a pretty good grasp of what I have though, in terms of pieces that aren't really being used. And so I'm gonna go ahead and head to the Lego store and see what they have on the pad wall. All right, they have a bunch of stuff that we're actually gonna probably need. They have the two by four, they have white tile here, which I know they use the dark gray and we were talking about using the dark tan, but I could just get a bunch of this and do like white all the way through. I think that would look pretty pretty slick as well. Cause then for the like wall design, we could also, those. And they have the two by four plate that we need. 
After I got home from the Lego store, I sorted all the different pieces that I ended up getting and they had a ton of pieces that really helped me build all of the bases for these train track plates. I'm really excited because that means at least we can get the train going in the city before we have all the stuff to decorate the different walls and like all of the track and that kind of stuff. But I got a lot of these pieces, including the two by two pink brick, and I got these two by six dark nougat plates that I put under the tracks and then I got the two by four black plate to put over top of that to where then everything was flat and I could tile it off with that dark tan that I had. I built a ton of these plates and I'm really excited to have done all the straight track that I had and so I'm definitely going to have to pick up some more. All right so we have got all of the train tracks done that we can get done so far and I think they look really good. Let's look. So I finished up all the straight track that we had and I ended up going with the dark tan um, and I just did the dark tan all the way through. I think that these like tan plates along looks kind of cool, but I feel like it'd be too much going throughout the entire city. And then I've got the turns kind of mapped out a little bit, and then I got all the straightaway done down there. I also have some lights coming to put like up in the corners so that we actually have some light in here. But I've got all this track done throughout here. I actually ran out of straight track, so I need more straight track for back there, and I need more straight track to go with the streets through here. I know currently this side of the Lego City looks like a complete wreck, but I definitely want to focus on at least getting this portion done and then at least like around where the train goes done first and then I'll be able to figure out this portion. And that does it for today's Lego City update. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe or follow on whichever platform you're watching and until next time, keep building.